Ah, oh, shite, that's not right, is it? That'll do. Right, there's no point in mucking about. Much better. Why don't you have another go, you muck? Oh, you bastard. You took your time, mate. Now listen to this. These days, computers, internet, mobile phones, it drives a mad. Right, you gonna fucking sign me in? I put on two factor authentication a day because you know Twitch has been like a uh, leaked or hacked or whatever, and uh, I it's sign me and everything. Right, am I fucking back or wet? I think I'm back now. Right, okay. Be right back, I'ma go get a beverage. Alright, now, do I sound okay, use A one word reply will do. Sounds okay, thank you, it's Monktastic. Hello, by the way. Right, what did I last day here? Oh god, I've been busy. Um, disposable day, game three. Right, so yeah, I uh, <laughs> I streamed this not too long ago, guys. Um, probably over a year ago at this point, maybe. I'm not so sure, but it wasn't too long ago. And, like, I was thinking back to last week when I was doing a Toy Commander, okay, while I was on the piss, you know? And, uh, you know, I do like that game, obviously. Top 10 Dreamcast games, you know, holy hell. But it was not a good game to let's play when you're drunk, okay? Like I was not let's play, bleh, stream! I need to get with the times here. It was not a good game to stream when you're pissed, no? I gotcha! I gotcha! So, I am uh, gonna go back to this now. Okay, Ty, I'm it. Catch me if you can! <clears throat> so weird seeing this cutscene with subtitles. Don't move, mate! I'll get help! This tie state it sure is ro Robine art PC, uh, PC version. Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Can I might? It's time you knew the truth. Years ago, 
a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. It couldn't have been that long ago. I mean, boss cast is still a bit. And how long the fucking... Actually, what is... What is boss cast again? Like, is he no some nearly extinct bird? Boss cast is a cassowary, I think. Wait, what, what the fuck's a cassowary? Okay, who the fuck goes to their mall? Mall, I want a cassowary for Christmas, you know? Nobody fucking says that. Love that doom door sound. <laughs> Is that loyalty free that? Boscas is still like alive and all that. Challenge Boscas were trapped in the dreaming. Mom, Dad. Word grows that <laughs> Boscas is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped. Are you cyber the wills? It's up to you to find the talismans before he does. T pose lol. Wait, my family. where? Oy, is there a T pose here? Are you okay? If I went all my, Marie? if I went all these years without noticing that. See you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed up. <laughs> like oh god, I've never noticed that before. ...adventure ahead of you, mate. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. I'd much rather be at home watching the footy. But I tell you what, you do the adventure. See, that's no right. I'll help you out where I can. Because if this is truly Australia, you would have said the cricket. Wouldn't they have said the footy? <laughs> Welcome to Rainbow Cliffs, mate. By the way, whenever you see one of these signs, I won't be far away. I've heard that if you press the action button, you can talk to me, whatever that means. Okay, now let's get down to brass tacks. If you're going to be out adventuring, then you'll need another boomerang. And I know just the place to find one. <laughs> Head down to Bly Bly Station. I, I honestly don't know, nor do I really, like, care that much for Robine, you know? Like, the game is so, um, unapologetically Australian, you know? Like, I'm sure, I, I'm sure I've looked this up before and I'm embarrassed that I can't even mind. Is Chrome Studios actually based in Australia? Because they're still a boot. You know, they pretty much just support this game and that's it, admittingly, but no, they are still a boot. I feel bad as well because back when I did stream this, I started to stream Tide the Tasmanian Tiger 2, okay, which, like, <laughs> it's it's amazing how much uh, Ty actually has in common with Jack and Daxter in terms of, like, my own personal recollection of the franchise because I love the first games of both, fr excuse me, I love the first game of both franchises so fucking much, you know, adore them, can 100% them in one sitting easily. And then the sequels come about, and I'm just like... Mm -hmm. Like, I've never even fully played Tai 3 yet. Tai 3 has been out on, like, Steam, a HD version for how long? Never fucking played it. You know? I'm really tempted to purchase the physical double pack on Switch. Just to get the... Pfft, I didn't even know that existed. Cyber. I wouldn't mind having that. I do actually have this game on Switch, and I played through the game on Switch, you know? It was brilliant. Um, runs very well on Switch. It's really good. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... 
I said good day, mate. I is death. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. Good day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> I think it was probably the first YouTube was 100 percent in this game. Yeah, it was quite. I remember doing this fairly early on. Yeah. It's quite simple, really. It uses an oscillatory micro feeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talisman. Huh? Like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the machine. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Well, no, kind of, but... Lucky. Somehow you always end up in a fucking boss area, don't you? Great deal of energy. So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, hey, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. All right, okay. Again, I'm sure I looked up at some point, but yeah. Areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just our luck. A lot of them will have already been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. But I'm afraid I can't help you with that. If you're as resourceful as they say, Ty, I'm sure you'll think of something. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. I'll see you in two up. Did you get the new monkey ball, by the way? I did, Robain. Not played too much of it. Um, Because, like, to be honest, monkey ball's not a franchise that I'm, like, super into, you know? Like, as far as Sega IPs go, you know, I can kind of give or take monkey ball, but when when it's a good game, you know, I'll fucking play it for sure. Uh, actually, I say that, but I bought fucking <laughs> Banana Blitz HD, so I have no really any right to say that, but yeah. Um... Yeah, I've been playing it. It's quite good. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. <laughs> There's plenty to do here, so let's get a move on. I went to grab it, but I've recently quit my job, so I need to be smart with my money. Indeed, Cyber, indeed, yeah. Best of luck with that. But buying a good game is sometimes smart, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of good games, have you seen like the Metroid uh, Dread reviews? I'm uh, I'm picking that up tomorrow. Cannot fucking wait. Well, it's not there. Let me ask you this, Robain. Are you a veteran Monkey Ball fan? Because I'm getting some real deja vu with uh, Banana Mania. Do you guys remember when Crash Bandicoot: The Insane Trilogy came out? There was a lot of people talking about the controls in that game. About not necessarily that they, they were bad, but that they weren't one-to-one -one with the original, and some folk just couldn't get behind that. I feel like I feel like the same thing's happening with Banana Mania. I see a lot of people complaining about the controls, but, you know, without really it be, seemingly being, like, objectively a thing? If you know what I mean? Oh, it's a good port on Switch, Jack and Dax. I would recommend it. Uh, Metroid is out tomorrow, Robin. Yeah. Beauty, butler, bonza. I got one. I say that, but I ordered my fifth copy of Sh Shanty on PS5, but I don't have a PS5. <laughs> Hmm. All right. Fair enough. I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. 
Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to do with the space-time conundrum. But if you ask me, I think it's a load of bull dust. So, you're saying that if I have an accident, I'll end up back at one of these? Something like that. I've still not played three Jang Dags, I was saying that earlier, yeah. One day, one day. Maybe I'll stream it, who knows? But I said that, but I was, like I said, I was streaming Tai 2 not too long, not too long ago. Maybe it was a year ago or something, but obviously I didn't finish it. got a fair set of choppers on you. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the bite button. <laughs> Get it? Choppers, bite button. <laughs> Never mind, Tai, move on. Have a go at those crates. Basically, Ty's homing attack right there. Now, I was speaking to a bloke down the local water. I need to revisit the Jack games. I only played one, two, and two made me rage quit. <laughs> you and a lot of people, Robin. He said something there. Wait a minute. He said something about pressing the throw button to use him. But again, it's one of those things where it's like I think back to when I was playing Jack Daxter as a teenager, you know, I was I was I was great at it, you know, I didn't rage at all. You know. Actually, what was that game? I was playing a game recently. Oh yeah, it was Kina. Like, anybody here played Kina, Bridge of Spirits, okay? That game is hard! That game kicked my fucking arse, man. I didn't expect it to kick my arse, alright? Like, look at, what, look at the sort of game that it is, you know? It's like, it's just some of the boss fights are like, what the fuck, how did... Who's got the patience for this shit? Unless your boss cares. I know, like, uh, especially the last boss, like... Near the end of the game, I actually, um, it's all about the parry, but the parry's hard. The parry's hard to pull off. Uh, and, uh, aye, it's just so... I don't know, it's, it's just really hard. I died so much, you know? Just before the end of the game, I actually bunged it down to, like, the easiest setting, and it was still not a cakewalk, but... I could imagine, like, the final boss in particular trying to do that on normal. Like, if it was as bad as the fucking, like, things I'd played before. Oh, fuck that. And it's weird because I, I was... We were talking about Crash Bandicoot earlier, you know? Like, a lot... I have a lot of friends who are, like, Crash Bandicoot veterans that completely lost patience with Crash 4. Said it was way too hard. They were like, fuck this game. I didn't think it was that hard. <laughs> I got through Crash 4 no bad. Last couple of levels were a bit of a pain in the arse, but other than that, I was I was absolutely fine, you know. I'll fucking get good, you cyber. Four lost my patient with its box gems. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't go for any of that shit. So maybe that's why my experience was all right. I wasn't too focused on getting all the collectibles. I mean, again, I'm not a big Crash player, but I do remember playing Crash 4 and getting to the end of a level and the box counter was just like one off and it was, I think I even tweeted about it at the time, I remember just being like, oh, so that's what that feels like. It feels shite. <laughs> yeah. 
modding the skins is easier than unlocking them. <laughs> Surprised Activision didn't milk the fuck out of that with microtransactions. You know? Well, mind you, it, there's still a chance, isn't there? Um, actually, apparently, according to Activision, Crash Bandicoot 4 didn't even do that well. So maybe they just, like, they want to take that one on the chin and be like, No, see, like, we, we're good, we're a good company. We didn't put microtransaction in Crash 4. I know we put them in Crash Team Racing, but we didn't put them in Crash 4. No, you just want an insane trilogy to be 60 FPS and PS5. Hmm. Hello, Epic Mind. Crash Wumpa? What the fuck is that? What's the Crash Wumpa League? You know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulacious Boom Rangorous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno rangs. I need golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. Oh my god, Robain. No, please. This is Activision we're talking about, right? How many times can they ruin Crash? Like, oh my god. I have no idea. What was our, where the hell is this little random thing in the road here? It's not a dunny. What the fuck is it? The shark boss of this game scared me so much. Oh, why? <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Both, but you still not a fan of Xbox old Donald, sir. Uh, hello, your everyday beast BSer. Uh, I'm not a fan of what? Xbox? Don't mind Xbox as long as it's not being a cunt. Like, uh, I was hearing some of that shit happening with a... Uh, oh, what's that Pokemon game that's on the Switch and phones? Like, it has, like, a, a skin that's, like, $40. $40? Pokemon Unite, is that what it's called? Or is Unite something else? It is Unite. What's the name of that, like, large-scale game that's coming out? Is that, like, Arceus Legend or something? Is it? I really don't know fuck... I really know fuck all about Pokemon, you know? Unite to the MOBA. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Like, I have, like, you know the term, I have no dog in this race, okay? That doesn't even, a, like, I'm on a whole different level when it comes to the fact that a Pokemon MOBA game has nothing to do with my interests, you know? Ever complete Final Fantasy X? No, Final Fantasy X is shit! Fucking Blitzball, piece of shit. Fuck that game. Other than that, it's fine, but fuck Bloodsport. Hello, Mega Boy. I don't think this was the first game I streamed. No. Did I like FF15? Final Fantasy 15, I think, is like my second favorite Final Fantasy game. You know? I really liked FF15, you know? And I played it at launch, you know? Like, that version that people who've never played it say, Oh no, I'm not playing that till it's finished, you know? I played the launch version of FF15 and really liked it, you know? <laughs> it's not, Mega Boy. I was streaming on Ustream and shit before that, mind. Well, maybe you don't mind, but... Hmm. 
Blood Spall is only man stream one. Well, it is, you everyday BSer. I can't believe I'm calling you that, by the way, and having a legit conversation about the quality of Final Fantasy. But regardless, regardless, I'll take your um, I'll take your uh, argument to heart here, okay? See the thing about Final Fantasy games, right? More so, I feel like, than any other RPG, okay? Especially the older ones. Um, like, stop me if you guys have ever been in a situation like this, right? You're playing a Final Fantasy game, you get up to a boss and it's kicking your fucking arse and you can't really be arse grinding, okay? So you think to yourself, I'll go on YouTube and find some gameplay and see if there's something I don't know, you know, I'll go on YouTube and see it. You go on YouTube, you find some arsehole that's played the game like a million fucking times, alright? And he's equipped with all the stuff, he's got all these super moves that you don't know, he's got like all this equipment that you don't have because you missed it like 50 hours ago and it's just like... You just feel so inadequate. You're like, you're you're just drained. You're just like, I don't know if I want to play this anymore. If I can't be like this, you know. <laughs> and uh, the thing, the thing about Final Fantasy um, X, and I've been told this by friends, not myself, is that so much of the stuff that makes you really good at the game is locked behind Blitzball. Like a lot of the items that you need, you know. That and, like, uh, Riku. Apparently Riku can, like, mix shit up that can be quite OP as well, so, um, that as well. But, yeah, I don't know. It's like, and there was a, there was a lot about Final Fantasy X I really like, you know? But I always get to a point with it where I'm just like, fuck this. Because I've tried to play it a few times. In fact, I destroyed my PS3 for, like, Final Fantasy X. Okay, I've told this story before, alright? It's on Twitter somewhere, right? My, like... 60 gigabyte backwards compatible PlayStation 3 died, you know, a yellow light of... It, I don't think it was the yellow light of death, but it just stopped turning on. And my copy of Final Fantasy X HD was in there, and I'm like... But I was enjoying that, and I'm... And I know that my save file is up on the cloud, because I had PlayStation Plus at the time, but... I couldn't get the disc, so I'm literally in my back garden with a hammer, smashing my fucking... Backwards compatible PS3 to get my fucking game back, you know? <laughs> and I got my game back, and I went... And got another PS3, because they were relatively cheap at that point, and, you know, started playing it, and didn't finish it, because I suddenly decided I didn't like it. So, aye, there you go. Yeah, like I said, it's up on Twitter somewhere. Your PS3 out your copy of MGS4? Well, it may as well have Cyber, because that game's not coming off of that fucking console, is it? <sighs> Why does Konami have to be like that? My Xbox originally your copy of Shrek. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Robine. I'm so sorry. Was it hard to get? Was it hard to get it out the Xbox? Because you know, Xbox has a lot of layers. You can't spell can't without Konami. Okay, right. <laughs> Consoles can be right hungry bastards, can't they? Right, I know I can get that thing without... Well, we're about to get it anyway, so fuck it. Played most of the game in night vision because the frame was better. Holy shit, Adam. Hello, by the way. I think I remember that. Fucking hell. I mean, I know I know there's people out there that have a thing or two to say about Metal Gear Solid 4, but I loved it. You know, I thought it was really good. Nice conclusion to Snake Saga, you know? You know, very controversial opinion, by the way, and I don't know if I agree with this anymore, but when I was, like, a teenager when Metal Gear Solid 4 came out, out of, like, the four, do you want to know what my least favorite was? Okay. It wasn't two. Two is actually my favorite. My least favorite was three. And I feel like that's sacrilege at this point, because three is the one that, like, Everybody loves the most now, you know? 
And even though it was my least favorite, like, I still loved it, you know, I just simply chose it because you had to put them in an order, and for some reason I always felt, yeah, freeze at the bottom, but like I said, I don't think, I don't think I would say that anymore, I'm not so sure. Um, but I... I didn't play Metal Gear Solid 5, actually. Uh, could not get into that one at all, so that's definitely my least favourite main series one now, for sure. Yakuza 3 is still your least favourite. Uh, oh god, don't get me ranting about Yakuza, Jack and Dax, I do that enough. The fuck am I doing? I've still got shit to get in there. Hello, Leon. You had to buy Metal Gear Solid 3 3D on 3DS. I found it. Mm, that was a that was a weird port that day. Like the best one was definitely when they put it out on PS3, because that was basically Metal Gear Solid Subsistence, and I loved the fact that you could like press a button and you could swap between the classic like overhead view and the you know sort of like third person camera. That you would that would later be using like Metal Gear Solid 4. That made that game so much better, you know? The fact that you could just switch viewpoints whenever you wanted. You know, I loved it. What's my least favorite Tim Schafer game delivered? I've not played all of them, but of the ones I've played, probably Brutal Legend, actually. Uh yeah. That's a game I feel like I need to play for again. Played for it once, was very hyped for it. Wasn't what I was expecting, as is the case with most people talking about it, but I am just like, mm, mm, mm. But maybe if I went to it with a um, fresh set of eyes, I could get into it again. Will Sony not let Insomniac make PS4 ports of Ratchet 1 and 3? Pass. <laughs> we'll see, eh? We'll see. Uh, unrelated topic, but I remember you raging so hard at Resident Evil Code Veronica, <laughs> where you haven't saved in a while and you died with prison slab crushing part. Uh, yes, Epic Mind. Very good times. Very nostalgic. Yes. Mm. I got logged. I didn't get logged out of Twitch, Leon, but I did enable two-factor authentication. I'm thinking that needs. Listen, y'all. Like. Change your password and enable two-factor authentication for your Twitch account, alright? Just, just go do that. <laughs> go do that the new. This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. Dead eye. <laughs> There's plenty to do oh, James. So let's get a move on. Oh god, Amazon password and all, that's a good point, fuck. <laughs> well, I mean, I know Amazon owns Twitch, but... Would it have been the same thing? I feel like we would have heard if Amazon got a... Made completely open source, you know? Is it better to play Yakuza 0 or Yakuza 1 first? Okay, okay, this is the debate. Okay, this is the debate, okay. I said don't talk about Yakuza, but you've started now, so we're gonna get into this. We're gonna get into this right now, Adam. Uh, sorry, your everyday BSer, okay? No, no, no. Short answer, I would say, personally, I would recommend Yakuza 0, yeah. Considering that when you say Yakuza 1, I take it you mean you're gonna play Yakuza Kiwami, yeah? The remake of Yakuza 1. Now, should you actually want to be a total badass and track down the PlayStation 2 games and start there, you know, you can do that as well if you want, but I don't know if I'd recommend that. Um, 
But yeah, Yakuza Kiwami is definitely made, even though it's a remake of the first game, in my opinion, it's definitely made uh, in a way that you're supposed to play Zero first. You know, it has like a lot more references to Yakuza Zero that they added in from the original game, you know? So, yeah, I feel like... And I don't think that, I don't think you really get much out of um, playing Yakuza's, Yakuza 0 after Yakuza 5, you know, because that's the order some people go in, in order of release, but I, I don't think there's much... I don't think there's much uh, benefit to it, all right? You might come in a... You might... You'll probably start to uh, become a massive Goro Majima fan, and then by the end of it, you know, by the end of the series, you're just like, what? Wh why the fuck was there not more Goro Majima? He was, like, the main character, wasn't he? No, he's not. He's not the main character. He's just got a much bigger role in Yakuza 0, you know? Oh, shut the fuck up, Leon. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Like, dub. Bringing up all this shit, you know? You don't even fucking play that. But, uh, yeah. No, I've got, I've got, like, a lot of legit nostalgia for that PlayStation 2 version, you know? I love the fact that they brought Kiryu's original voice actor back, you know, for uh, the, the Like a Dragon dub. Spoiler alert, uh, Kiryu is in Like a Dragon, sorry. Uh, I got spoiled for it, so y'all are getting spoiled for it too, so, yeah. <laughs> My only regret as a Yakuza fan is not fighting Amon in Yakuza 2 on PS2. I've never fought Amon, all right? I, that probably makes me the biggest fake Yakuza fan ever, but I've never fought Amon in any Yakuza game, you know? Sometimes I lie awake at night and be like, you know, how? why the fuck have I never fought an Amon? Surely I would have done it. I almost did that. I think I came the closest I've ever been um, with uh, Judgment, funnily enough, Tasty Mont. Hello, by the way. Because, um... Oh, excuse me. I've moaned about this a couple of times before, but goddamn, I'm gonna moan about it again. I did, like, everything in the remaster of Judgment on the PS5. I did everything. The only thing I didn't do is because, you know, those friend, like, quests that you get, because... Yagami makes, like, friends around Kamurocho. I got 49 out of 50, okay? And you might be saying, well, why didn't you do the last one, duck? You know, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And I'm just like, I'll tell you why I didn't do the last fucking one. I don't know how to play Mahjong, all right? Nobody knows how to play Mahjong, all right? If you say you're lying, all right? Nobody knows it, all right? Um, they have Cyber the Wolf, funnily enough. Uh, they did one for Judgment as well, too. But aye, there's this one friend that you can only make if you're good at Mahjong, and I, I don't know how to play Mahjong. So I didn't get to fight Amon in Judgment. Only three of these in the whole game. Moonjong is the secret bonus game you can unlock in Freedom Planet. Very out of nowhere, by the way. <laughs> I still not played Freedom Planet, either. That's another one of the ones that I just need to play, you know? 
Right, what's our completion rate like? One more opal, fuck. If I don't get that, I'll be pissed. One more Bellaby and all. Yeah, I know. I know, Cyber. That's the that's literally the, like the selling point to it, you know? It's a bit like Sonic. Well, thanks for answering my questions. Off to nap. Cheery bye, BSer. See you after. Oh my god, I have one more opal to get. Fuck bastard bollocky bums. There is. heard of EX Zodiac, it's a Star Fox inspired game, I haven't, no. Uh... Uh, no, I can't even swim yet. I mean, that's kind of the point, Mega Boy, you know, <laughs> collecting shit. If you're no one to it, then I uh, maybe collect a thons aren't for you. Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, full of beautiful fish, friendly natives, and inviting sandy beaches. It's a beautiful spot for a swim, if you know how. Uh, no, Jang Dax, you can get every opal without swimming in uh, the first level. Right, I always just think to get this. Maybe one day I'll get every single bit of artwork as well. Nah, I'm never going to do that. <laughs> and I don't think my immortal soul will mind when I pass off this mortal plane that I didn't get all the artwork things in Tide the Tasmanian Tiger. Some collectibles in this game do that as well, Cyber. Like, you hear that sort of like, uh, ooh, whoop, whenever there's a, whenever there's like a Bellaby nearby. Oh, hi, there was, I think Chrome Studios sent something out to like their Kickstarter backers about Bellabies in Australia, like they're endangered or something, and they were basically just trying to like um, raise awareness of it. Hi. Pretty sure. Good one. The aquarangs work like regular boom.
Thank you for playing Jack and Daxter on stream. I really want to, goddamn Sully. But, um... It's fucking hard to emulate that game. Like, I tried it. I literally have the ROM on this PC right now. I've tried to emulate it and it doesn't work. It doesn't work very well. I would love to. I would love to stream Jack and Daxter, you know? But now is not the time. Jack one is quite sure. I wouldn't say that, but you know, it's it's a decent sized adventure. I am H O. Right, anything else for me to get in these wee islands here? I have a physical disc. I do have a physical disc. Maybe I did play off the disc. I'm not sure, but I have definitely tried emulating it, and it didn't work. What the fuck. Didn't Naughty Dog code Jack 1 in a weird way? I heard it made doing the PS3 a nightmare, likely why it sucked on Vita. Um, I feel like that was just the case with a lot of games uh, back then, Leon. You know, a lot of games that were kind of like rushed out, you know. Because like speaking as a, you know, being a programmer myself, at least that's what it says at the bottom of my like email uh, template thing. Uh, being a programmer myself, I know what it's like to go into like a bit of code that's been badly maintained. Like it's just a pain in the arse to have to like work with a bit of software that's coded badly, you know. But at the same time, it's a pain in the arse to like adhere to certain coding standards, you know, because you have to be like properly like trained in it and shit. And you know, it's just hard to like stick with it 100%, especially if you're under a deadline. So, I. Like, uh, you know, when it comes to HD collections, I'm definitely of the opinion that they're not as, like, easy as most people would think, you know? Oh, dearie me. My sweet little angels have wandered off exploring. Now I can't find them anywhere. Please, can you help me? Yay! Thank you. Something funny, something I always found funny actually, giving Ty like a limited amount of air. I know that it's accurate, but he can stay underwater for so long and it's like you're never really in a position where you're away from like the surface of the water, so giving him, giving him like, I don't know, it just, it's almost pointless, you know? A little nitpick for y'all of a game that I've played like a million times. Like, can you, could you hold your breath this long? Precious babies. Thank you so much, little orange fish creature. How can I ever repay you? Hey, I know. You can have this sparkly rock I found in the sand. All right. I actually have a few, like, of uh, those uh, PS2 games as well. Like Dark Chronicle, you know? 
I really want to play through that again. See, okay, question to y'all, right? What would you say if I did a tried streaming Dark Chronicle? Because that's a game, like, I think about Dark Chronicle and I'm like, ugh, my heart. Like, so much nostalgia, such a great game, all that bollocks. But I don't know if that'd be... Mm. Maybe it would maybe it would be a good game to stream because the thing about Dark Chronicle and Dark Cloud that came before it is that it has like a lot it does like, you know, randomized dungeons and stuff. So it's actually got like somewhat roguish elements to it, and I feel like I don't know, I feel like that may actually be a good streamable game, you know? Because obviously when it comes to streaming, folk just love a good like game that will fuck you up at any given moment, you know? So I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll keep that in the old back pocket. I mean, Dark Cloud's pretty good as well, you know, but Dark Dark Cloud 2, aka Dark Chronicle, is definitely where it's at. I think, hmm, is that level 5's best game, I wonder? Fuck, it's either that or Dragon Quest 8. Level 5's best game. Uh, I think it is. I think Dark Chronicle is level 5's best game. Level 5 sure is a company that hasn't really done much nowadays, is it? Neil Cooney's up there, but mm, nah, I'd definitely put Dark Chronicle above it. Final Fantasy is working on the Advance Wars games, or the uh, no, that was uh, Luigi's Mansion was um, fucking next level games, and the Advance Wars games are being made by Way Forward. So no, like uh, a really unfortunate thing about Level Five actually, and like this is kind of unprecedented in the current year, right? Level Five actually shut down their like North American branch, you know and just going to be focusing on, like, you know, the Japanese market from now on, which, you know, obviously the Japanese market's still really big, but I would have thought that most companies realize it's like, yeah, we can't just rely on Japan anymore. Nah, yeah, we got to sell these games fucking everywhere uh, if we're going to want to make bank, but level 5 apparently seems confident. I can't see that lasting. I think... I mean, to be fair, they could always get, like, different publishers. Like, you know, Nintendo, for example, published the Professor Layton games, you know? So, yeah. Uh, still haunted by the golfing I had to do in Dark Cloud. Oh, my... Oh, I forgot. See, there you go. Hello, Oven Donkey, by the way. Uh, glad to have you here. Yeah, see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. There are just, cer there are just certain bits of games that you always forget about. Then when you get to them, you're just like, oh, fuck. And if you're streaming in front of, like, a dozen people or something, it's like, oh, fuck, you know? Press the action button to swim into the cage. Press the action button again to swim out. These sharks are fucking wusses, by the way. Again, like I said, why do they go to the bother of putting the fucking, like, air bubbles below the... Um, the cages here, because you're not going to be under there long enough.
aquaphobia exists. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. That's what Sonic suffers from. Isn't it? Did any of you see that video that they just put out? Because for marketing like Banana Mania, Sega's been doing these like cooking with AI -Ai videos where an AI -Ai puppet just like does a banana themed recipe. And they're pretty cute like, but they just came out and did the um, the final episode where they make like a banana um, chili dog. <laughs> and the so there's a Sonic puppet there as well. It's the cutest fucking thing, you know. Highly recommend it. Barracuda. Uh, why are the Kingdom Hearts games on Switch Cloud only? I don't know, because... Because we all did bad things in our previous life, probably. You answered. I love how you asked the question, then immediately answered it yourself, Mega Boy. <laughs> because Nintendo. <laughs> That's true, Cyber. Disney's well pissed off about that. Hey, doll. How are you? Yeah, good. And what about you? Let me guess. Rex was worried about me again? Yeah, that's right. Isn't he a sweetheart? Well, I better get home so he stops fretting. Right, I then. By the way, I found this on the way. Want it? <laughs> Right, is there no? No, there isn't. Any. Imagine if you could do that in real life, eh? That'd be banging. Oh yeah, there's a ability up here, so no. There it is. Thank you. 
Okay, through the dangerous shark pill. Through the dangerous eel thing. Oh, it actually did get me. Fucking hell. Get I might. Hello, Aaron. How's it going? Now you gotta be careful around Dor and he might spoil lost judgment for you. You know? And if he does spoil lost judgment for you, make sure he never fucking forgets it. So you're on chapter four, Jack Dax. Well, don't speak to Orin. <laughs> Doing all the skill stuff. Actually, you know, I finished the game a wee while ago, and I'm trying to like go back and do more stuff. I didn't do too much of the skill stuff. Like I only just made it to the robotics club. You know, we really need to get back more into the swing of things with that game. God. <laughs> Zach, yes. Oh, God. What a day that was, eh? Yeah, just to talk about Lost Judgment uh, for a bit, completely spoiler three, um, I fucking loved it. Like, I know, it's like, what, Duck likes an RGG game, what the fuck is this shit, I know, but um, I thought it was quite a bit better than the first one. The first one was really good, but yeah, this one was just excellent, man. Like, uh, I to, to make a few bold claims... I think it's got the best soundtrack of any RGG game that I've played, you know? Um, I'll say that for nothing. Uh, what else? Combat is way better. It's it's a lot more easy. I'll say that, but it's it's definitely better, you know, than it was in a... It gets rid of so many annoying things from the first game, like the friggin' Mortal Wound system or the Kaheen gang members constantly. Like that fucking guy that ran the Chinese restaurant just texting you all the time being like, Help us, Yagami san It's like... Uh... Orin, you're treading on thin fucking ice, you prick. Alright. Obligatory video calls. Yeah, that was. Yeah, you're right. That is something that they took out, didn't they? Um, try and think what else. Obviously, being set in the Jin Show makes for a much bigger game. But the school is honestly, I think, 
You know, it's funny. Having something set in a high school in Japan is like one of the most unoriginal things ever, right? We all know this, but something about an RGG game being set in a high school, like, comes off as so, like, amazing to me. It's like, oh shit, that's, like, the, just the amount of, like, shenanigans you can imagine, like, um, characters in an RGG game getting into, you know? You can just, like, it, it writes itself pretty much, doesn't it? So, yeah. Actually, no joke, right? I had the game on last night. I only played it for like half an hour and I think I did like one sub-story and no joke, this sub-story was one of the funniest fucking sub-stories I've ever seen in an RGG game. It's, uh, for those of you who've played it, it's the one that involves following that little boy around who wants to do an errand for his folks, you know? And, uh, Yagami and Kaito have to Find the disguise in order to follow him, follow him around. Oh, I was fucking laughing my arse off with at that. Yeah, Jankdex, I noticed that. It was kind of funny, but very, very weird, but very welcome addition was the collectibles thing. Yeah. I love having the dog as well. The dog is pretty fun. <laughs> Did the original game not do that with collectibles? No, no, it didn't. Uh, Lost Judgment's the first RGG game to have the collectibles just come towards you, rather than having to individually pick them up now, you know? Right, please say these are the last, this is the last bunch of, like, opals here. Oh my god, it's not. It's fucking not. Oh no, oh fuck, oh fuck a duck. I've left, there's a crate somewhere in this world, and I have not smashed it yet. There's five opals, oh, bollocks. Ball Lex. Bo oh, never mind. Okay, cool. You don't have to clip that, it's fine. Right, and that means... Oh, I've still got a Billaby to find. Where's the last Billaby? Hmm... area also annoyed you as a kid. I really like a lot of the areas in Tide the Tasmanian Tiger. Jangdax, not gonna lie. Like, what's my fa What's my least favorite level? Uh, my least favorite level might actually be the one where you're like on the bull. But mind you, that's kind of the that's kind of the only like gimmicky level. So maybe I can give that one a pass because even then I don't hate it. Maybe it was actually maybe it's like liar friggin' Lenny the liar bird. I think that may be my least favorite level. Level can be quite annoying. This is your worst level. Well, how did you get on with the other beach level then, Jack and Dax, near the end of the game? Because that level's huge, you know? Right. And that may be actually be one of my favorite levels is the huge beach level because it's just so open, you know? Right, if anybody wants, if anybody knows where the fucking, like, wife Billaby is in fucking shipwrecks, feel free to spoil me. You love all of Area 3. Area 3 has the second snow level where everything's on fire. I'm not too fond of that level either. Like, the first snow level is way better. Like, my favorite area is definitely Area 2. 
Even though it has the bull one in it, the other two levels are really good, in my opinion. Especially the River Tai level. That's another one of my favorites right there. Wait, I hate in some collectathons they make you collect every single one of a finite amount. That's that's literally what collectathons are, Mega Boy. All right. That's like saying I hate how in JRPGs they make you do battles and grind for experience. Not in Mario 64. Red coins. You know? Actually, the stars are fucking finite. There's only 120 of them. Oh, God. I think I failed, guys. Where is this last fucking... Uh, thing. And stars are the main collectible. Yeah. I fucked it, guys. I fucked it. I have no idea where this last ability is. Okay, let's try and visualize, right? There's one behind the mountain. Alright, there was one up there. There's one up there. There's one there. Require caffeine, get me some, eh? Well, actually, get me some alcohol. I've ran out of my Asahi. Cherry by Jang Dags, thanks for coming. Hmm, <laughs> dirty bean water. Is there no Abilabe at the very beginning to? That's not what I forgot, is it? Right, let's speedrun this shit. This is, what, this is how a speedrunner would get back to the... This is how a speedrunner would get back to the beginning of the level. Opals come back. Saw them. Guess you want to collect all 300 of them again. Yeah, this was a cog. I got that. Alright, we may as well do the race. Let's do the race. It's not up here, is it? No.
The sharks have very politely left for us to do our race. Oh, fuck you, Rex. Fuck you and your OP swimming shite. Not that it's hard, as soon as you get on land, like, this is literally like half the course has gone up this fucking mountain and Rex is like, I'm weak to land, God damn it. There we go. You little ripper. You're uh, Chrome also made those two shite Spyro games as well as well, decent Jimmy Neutron right? game. I remember the Jimmy Neutron game. I remember playing the demo for it and like making the connection that this was made by Chrome Studios and thinking, because uh, I didn't know what to make. Because I was, it's weird. I was of the age where I was happy to play Tide the Tasmanian Tiger, but not happy to watch something like Jimmy Neutron thinking, this is some fucking kitty shite. <laughs> that was my mentality, you know? Actually, hold on. Chrome didn't they make Enter the Dragonfly, did they? Please tell me they didn't. No, they didn't. They are good. <laughs> that would just ruin my night. More than no being able to find this fucking last bilby. Right, there's a friggin' cheat code that you could put in to, like, find collectibles too. I remember, I remember always using it, but not, never knowing how to use it. <laughs> Weren't those the ones that were kind of okay? Like, about, like, I don't know Spyro at all, so I'm not so sure, but... Like, those ones that they got Elijah Wood to fucking voice Spyro, were they, were they not, like, okay? And you know, okay is alright, okay is not shite. It's okay to be okay. Oh, jings, really? <laughs> that's, that's bra that. Right. F fuck the Bellabies. Fuck everything. One will go to the last level. Oh, smell that fresh rainforest there. See the cute wallabies. Surf the slippery water slide. Watch out for those leeches. I'll go back and find it, alright. Just don't want to be sitting around here twiddling me thumbs all night. I mean, I could totally do this in like... Three settings, maybe one area per setting. Well, obviously there's the final area, but I reckon I could do that. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do about uh, Toy Commander. I do want to go back to it, but that first stream was atrocious. I was drunk and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I've kind of learned that, guys. If I'm going to have a drink and stream, I should, like... 
I should know the game very well, you know? Not leave anything up to chance. Because it's bad enough when you get lost when you're trying to record yourself playing a fucking game. If you're pissed and you then again what the fuck you're doing. So it's no right. Billaby bastard. We don't want another our yeah fucking felt. Nah, that was Nitera. All right, <laughs> that that was Nitera who was fucking filming me. That was my pal Fiona. She fucking filmed me and put it on her fucking YouTube channel. Uh, she had a kid a couple months ago. Not seen it yet. For obvious reasons, but yeah. I bet if I, I, I whipped out my phone and started filming her way and Fiona would be like, Don't you fucking film him! You know? And I'm just like, well you fucking filmed me! Actually, for those of you that don't know, <laughs> Mega Boy is referring to a relatively obscure moment that's on the internet where I'm sitting in my house, pish, this was like 10 years ago or something, I'm playing Majora's Mask for the N64, okay, and my pal Fiona, for whatever reason, decided to film me, and uh, I just turned to her and I decided to blow up in her face, are you fucking filming me, and I'm like, Slamming the table, I'm like, fuck you, fuck you for filming me. Um, because you know, we all do funny things when we're drunk. You sh you should know. But, uh, oh shit, 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 shit. No, no, not shit, not shit, not shit in the fucking slightest. Fuck. Our Billaby. I heard that. Right, this is a secret entrance. We don't have to go down there just yet. Also, that must be a really spicy. Cut. Maybe he's back and he just can't be arse typing. He's under no obligation to type. Or maybe he's left, who knows? Oh god, guys, can I moan about Sutton real quick? I've got this pain in, like, the side of my fucking, like, right below the rib cage here. And it will only go away, it's been at me all day. And I don't know what, how much to panic about it. Right, I gotta concentrate here. Gotta get all these opals. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> 
I, I, I pressed the bite button to go down quicker and Ty wouldn't stop going quicker. Yeah, I'll try a few things, Mega Boy. Alright, let's go free the cave bats. Right, what's the best way to do this? Let's go this way first. Hmm. Did I fuck something, actually? Jerry bye, Cyber. Thanks for coming in. See you, why couldn't I have found you in shipwrecks? Remember when someone asked you if you were sc if I was Scottish? Uh, I don't, loud mouth, <laughs> but I'll take your word for it. Q&A vids, oh god, those were like a million years ago, loud mouth, alright. Uh, is there no something for me to get in here? Besides that. Fucking scary as fuck, Beatles. An extra life that you don't need. Actually, I have a confession, guys. I'm actually not Scottish at all. I've been living a lie all this time. You think this is a Glaswegian tenement flat? No, this is just some set in, like, you know, uh, Sacramento, California, right? We got a follower. Who's Folian? Uh, Action Jackson, 39. Hello, thanks for the follow. I had like, um, I had some ideas. Can, In fact, if anybody could actually like uh, answer this for me. Can you not get like, fuck, I missed the opal. I blame you, Ac Action Jackson. Someone streamed signs before. Uh, thank you, Action. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking about changing that up, um, Leon, 
I have a few, like, gifts in mind that I would like to use, but I can't remember. I, I think you've only, like, used one sort of, like, gif per action. Like, you have one for subscribers, you have one for raids, you have one for, like, hosts and follows, etc. So, I. Uh, Oh, God. Wait. I was working in a liquor store. I was working in a corner shop. And I told you that a couple of teenage girls were asking me if I had any nuts. Did that happen? I mean, there was a lot of, like, underage girls came in constantly, like, barging us for alcohol and fags. You know? Like, they would come in, oh, sell, 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 sell some, like, buckfast and sell some fags, Kaz. And then you would try to, like, force them out. You would sort of like, you know, touch a head on their hair and they'd be like, oh, I'm going to get you done. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get the police on you. It's like, they, they would do that as they were begging us to sell them like, you know, alcohol. All right. So <laughs> it was like, it was a hell of a job for sure. Like, I can remember my boss at the time, uh, his name was Kaz. He was, like, the soundest boss ever, by the way. Such a good guy. And, um, he would, um, he got fed up with all these children coming in asking for, like, fags one day. And he filmed them, and he put it up on YouTube. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure he could get done for that nowadays, you know? But he did that, and it was like, these Waynes literally hodding up their lighter, it's like, here's my ID, I smoke, sell me some fags. And the, he's still filming them, and he's like, I'll get you done for pedophilia. <laughs> it's, it's just mental, look, Waynes. And uh, then later in that video, my little cousin, who was also a child at the time, I don't even know if he smoked, he probably did, but he came in moaning about how he got sell a <laughs> fucking packet. Oh, I'm just minding this, sorry. He came in moaning to my boss because <laughs> he got sell a packet of crisps <laughs> that were like four months out of date. <laughs> and my boss started bad-mouthing me because it was- I, I stacked the shelves, alright? It was my job to like rotate the stock and make sure all the out-of-date shit was, <laughs> was out of the way. Oh, God. Oh, that was, it was good times, good times. Oh man, what the fuck is he doing there? Old Kaz. I really hope I know. Fucking great, I don't know. I, I didn't get shouted at or whatever. I'm pretty sure actually I'm pretty sure Kaz actually like told me to keep those out of date crisps on the shelf to make it look full, you know? I wouldn't be surprised if that was the case. He doesn't run that shop anymore, so I can say that. Remember that barbecue I had? Oh god, stop reminding me of old shit. <laughs> My old shit was terrible. But uh Yes, I do remember that barbecue with my pals. I actually had a bar- I literally had a barbecue with those same folk, like, this summer day. You know, it was like our first, like, meet-up uh, after lockdown. It was really good. And, like, several of, like, my friends in that video now have their own children, which is just mentally me still. But, uh... It was the glory days, and I suppose you can call it that. My old shit was shit, but it was good shit. No, I'm young and I'm st stupid. Mind you, like that's just that's just human nature, isn't it? For us to look back on ourselves for a uh, 
for us to look back on ourselves like so many years ago and just immediately assume us to be shit. Whereas if we're talking about ourselves in the present, you know, we're obviously uh, more apologetic of our actions, you know, like our ego comes in and we're more, we justify our actions a bit more, don't you? But I'm going to look... I'm going to look back on myself right now, 10 years from now, and I'm going to think I look like this thing, alright? I'm going to think I'm as shite as I did when I made those barbecue videos. That's just how we are, isn't it? So what are your thoughts on the Castlevania franchise, and are you more of an old school fan or a Metroidvania dude? I'm definitely Metroidvania, um, loudmouth. I cannot get behind the old Castlevania games with the controls and that. Say Castlevania 4. Castlevania 4 in the SNES. That game actually... That game was actually, like, controlled well, you know? So that was alright with that. But yeah, I've played a bunch of, like, the... I really, really like the DS trilogy. You know, um... Let me think. Aria of Sorrow... Uh, nah. Aria of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and uh, Order of Ecclesia. You know, they're all fucking excellent. Well, I suck. Well, I had trouble beating Kina uh, this week, okay? So... Let that be an indication of my uh, gaming skills, you know? I can't even 100% tie the Tasmanian Tiger, alright? That's how shite I am. What's my favourite Game Boy Advance Castlevania? See, I know I played a bunch of them, but I don't think I could name any of them, actually. I think they were I think they were on the Wii U. No no. Were they? I can't even mind. But I did play a couple of them, yeah. But I'll I'll pick up that collection that Konami's coming out way, you know, hundred percent. Oh come on. Actually, I could have used a super bite there to get him more easily, but yeah. Aria of Souls. Yeah, like, there's Circle of Moon, Aria of Souls, and what's the other one? Harmony of Dissonance? One, I think, what, yeah, that one that just says Castlevania has another name, specifically. Bastard. Thoughts on the whole Smash Brothers dra Is there a drama, Loudmouth? I thought everybody was, like, really happy with Sora. Like, is there actually a drama? are complaining about it. Well, that's just how it is, isn't it? Like, you knew for a fact, because this is the last Smash Brothers character, like, what character would not have had anybody moaning, you know? That's just how it is, alright? Like, it's so easy. We've been so spoiled with Smash Ultimate that, you know, we look at Sora, and if we didn't want Sora, we somehow feel like we were cheated. When this is literally the same game that gave us, like, Joker and Banjo and all that shit, you know? We have to, like, we have to fucking remember that, don't we? Hit the boulders with your rank so they knock the blue tongues out of the way. Silver the Hedgehog would have been great. No, he wouldn't have. Silver the Hedgehog would have been shite. Like, I think I retweeted it, but there was, like, this, uh... There was, like, this fucking image floating about, literally floating about, of, like... Because when Sora comes out in the trailer, you know, he's got, like, that sort of, like, twinkle dust gone about by him. And it's the same sort of pattern that Knights has. And someone put, like, Knights in the picture, and I was just like, ugh. I would have 
cried so fucking hard. You have no idea how much I would have cried if that was if Knights got in this game, you know? There's only a few characters left that would have made me like legit tear up. Why am I getting all these Steam achievements? I've played this game before. Sakurai should have been the final character. What would his moveset be? Yeah. I mean, I do really love the fact that Sakurai specifically told us that Sora was the winner of the ballot all the way, all those years back, you know? Um, actually, that's a good, that's, a, that's an excellent point, actually, because we were told at the time that Bayonetta was the number one choice in Europe. Like, she won in Europe, and then, like, in the rest of the world, she was amongst the top five. Which obviously implied that, you know, she wasn't, like, the worldwide winner. Which we kind of already knew, because there was going to be people that would put in, like, impossible picks. But yeah, I love the fact that... Pesh. I love the fact that he went out of his way to put in the actual number one from that ballot. You know, that's very cool on Sakurai. And I say that because I'm very much, um... Oh my god, guys, should we rant about every single DLC character? Because I feel like I have an opinion on all of them. You want to hear all my opinions on Smash Brothers DLC and you can't say anything back? Should I do that? Should we annoy some people? Uh, stream Devil May Cry one day. Uh... I don't know. Not the biggest Devil May Cry one. I would probably do Bayonetta, actually. I really love Bayonetta. Hey. Oh yeah, that happens sometimes. If you get a... I think... I don't know if that was a thing for this remaster, but if you get, like, a magnet and you only have, like, five friggin... Opals to go, you just get them automatically. I wonder if that was put in there deliberately or something, but... Oh well. There we go. Shemu 3 was a big disappointment for you. Well, you're wrong! You're wrong, loudmouth! But I respect your opinion. Right, okay. Oh, we're done? No. Oh, fuck. We have one golden coglet. I'm not on point tonight. Shite. Where's the last golden cog? Fuck. Actually, I think I know where it is. I think I know where it is. In fact, I definitely know where it is. We got this, we got this.
Uh, what do you think about the confirmation of Sonic and the Black Knight 2? Uh, okay. Oh, I see. That's why you said Shemu 3 was disappointment. You're just full of shit, loud mouth. Alright, cool. That's fine. Yeah, it is weird that... See, I understand that, like, um... I understand that Sora is, like, an absolute nightmare when it comes to, like, lawyers and courtrooms and Disney shit. So, the fact that he's in the game at all is a miracle. It really is. But it is weird that, you know, there's no... There's no Goofy. There's no Donald, you know? Because that feels like the sort of detail that Sakurai would really try and get right when it came to representing a character, you know? Um, like, Sora, like, Donald and Goofy should have been in Sora's final smash. You know, they should have been, 100%. It's, it's really weird that they're not. Like, I am not the biggest Kingdom Hearts guy. I've played all the games. But, yeah, I've, um... I'm, I'm, I'm not the biggest, biggest fan, for sure. I always really like the sky in this level. Like, I don't know, just the fact that this is all nice and there's a big storm a-brewing, you know? I know, loudmouth, you're fine. I mean, if I, I'm, I'm not the sort of person that takes trolling seriously, you know? <laughs> I'm not just gonna ban you when I get in the right mood, am I? Um, I remember reading a few years ago how even uh, Utada Hikaru's music was why it took so long to get a digital release because of legal issues around it. What was that? Is that a Kingdom Hearts composer, that? Wasn't Yoko Shimamura the main composer behind Kingdom Hearts? Fuck, fuck, bastard bollocky bums. Could go all Wings of Redemption and ban all of us because we're all ca <laughs> Wings of Redemption. Isn't that that guy that played, like, Battlefield and was, like, really bitter about everything and shit? Oh, was it the singer? Oh, okay. Jings. Yeah, man. Yoko Shimamura, she's an absolute legend. You know, she's, like, she's done music for so much... For so much shit, you know? Smack into the fucking wall! What, well, Joy-Con drift? Mm hmm, yeah. You and a whole mess of other people, loudmouth. Oh, money fuck. Money fuck. I'm nowhere near the fucking thing. Come on. Bastard. I mean, to be fair, I'm totally insulting this Bill's intelligence here. Like, in any other scenario, he would have got the picture by now, surely. <laughs> right, I think if he dies before me, it counts.
Your ability to read Wikipedia, Mega Boy, is astounding. Get in there! Get in there! Oh, you fucking piece of bull... bullshit. There's only one left. He's gonna hit me. He's gonna get me. I'm gonna die. I believe she, like, did a song for Streets of Rage 4, and she also did music for Street Fighter 2, and she also did music for Xenoblade. I remember that. Just smack and yeah. Why is this so much harder than I remember it? There we go. Talismans. When Boss Cass discovers that we are out to thwart his plans, he will do all in his power to stop you. Be careful, my friend. She'll be right, old timer. Shock me, lucky you actually found the talisman. I just might have bet on the wrong horse. Anyway, mate, Julius has got a present for you at his lab. I've made <laughs> a most exciting discovery. The talisman machine is brimming. You know the Dreamcast can play video games. I assure you, I was aware of that. Uh, the talisman. Oh. Zoomerang and multirang. I told you. Okay. Now we are gonna go back to the fucking shipwrecks and get that last billaby. And I definitely didn't just Google the locations of all of them, you know, so... That's not the same noise the multi rang usually makes. <laughs> Zero out of ten. Right, the little man in my phone says that the second Billabay is after the eels. So let's get to the fucking eels and turn left. But I'm sh I definitely would have went this way. I definitely, definitely would have went this way. And then I just simply... It's... Ah, it's definitely here. Where is the Bellaby? Is the game glitched? Surely not. Am I that much of a, like, bitter arsehole that I'm resorting to that? I don't want to end the stream unless I get this last one. Yeah, I got that one. I swear to God, I got all of these. I, I, I promise you, I, I got all of these fucking Billabies. 
You know what? I bet... No, no, that wouldn't work if I loaded the game up again. I am going to... Okay, I'm going to end the stream here, guys, but I'm going to go back, all right? I'm going to go back and watch this fucking stream and see, like, if I got all these fucking billabies. Because I bet you I did. I bet you I did, okay? Anyway, I will probably stream some more of this tomorrow while I'm having a good drink. We'll do the next three areas, so hopefully I'll see you there. Okay, okay, right. See you after, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Fuck, just nearly spilled my beer. I love how I said I'll see you tomorrow when I'm having a drink, and I'm literally having a drink right now.